Hey, what's going on, you guys? We're here with an amiibo unboxing. This is Wave Five B, and I just only I only got four. I only got the ones I wanted. I don't want to get Bowser Jr., Ganondorf, because I think that dude is ugly. And I know I'm missing one, but uh, wait, no, no, I'm not. I actually got all of them pretty much. I'm just here to show you guys today my new set of amiibos and talk about them real quick and look at their details. And I'm gonna show you my the rest of my amiibo collection as well i don't have too many i only have the ones i want i did miss out on a couple like um platoonia she became an amazon exclusive which is a like which was ridiculous i thought she was going to be sold in stores um but other than that i plan to add on link and and toon link later on um but for now i'm just show you guys and unbox them but from the looks of it i took a closer look at the 8-bit Mario. This thing's amazing. This thing's awesome. It's like a whole bunch of like Lego pieces, Lego look like pieces put together. He's pretty big too. It does say the 30th anniversary in there. I'll show you a closer look once I unbox him. But he is a little less wider than the regular boxed amiibos. We're gonna open him last. First we're gonna we're gonna open the least cool looking ones. So we're gonna zoom up real quick. And I did get a brand new container since my last one is the one I currently have is full. But first off, we're gonna start off with Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario is a Target exclusive. Um, they had, Target had plenty in stock. I'm pretty sure that, that he's like the only one you can get by now. I did wait wait outside the store with my girlfriend for about an hour and a half after we got off of work. Um, so pretty much we waited till 8 a.m. and we got we got four amiibos. She got me. Zero Suit Summus and 8 Bit Mario. And I got. No, wait, no. She she got 8 Bit Mario and Zero Suit Summus. And I got Olimar and Dr. Mario. And I think I got the last Olimar, um, also known as the Pikmin 2 and 1 character. I think I got the last one. It was pretty crazy. And my girlfriend got the second last Zero Suit Summus. So we get, I guess you could say we lucked out. Let's start unboxing these bad boys. Oh shit, it's a little tougher than I thought. Look at his face, it came off. I've seen some people just post these on their wall, but since the way it came out, all fucked up, I'm not gonna put that on my wall. I threw the rest of them away too. Let's see, let's try to open this. There we go, we got him out. Amiibo Dr. Mario. And does have the little no scan thing for the box. So some people, the first wave of a couple of waves of amiibos were allowed to be open. I wonder if it closes. Nope. The first set of amiibos, they didn't have this little bar or a little black grayish sticker on the bottom. This blocks you from scanning it from inside the box. So you got you pretty much have to open them in order for the, in order for you to use them now. The first set didn't have this at all, so you were able to scan it to the Wii U on through the box. And the only reason people wanted to keep them in the box to not lose their their um their value and their sell price, but I don't really care. I actually just put them in the containers and they stay the same. I bet I bet when I open that my other display box is gonna smell like a bunch of rubber. But here we got Dr. Mario looking pretty cool. You know, got his PhD. At the Sunflower Academy. Uh, I don't know why it's not focusing. It's probably because of the background. You see, we got Dr. Mario right now. He, he's okay. He's pretty cool. I wanted to get him because, you know, it's Dr. Mario, you guys. It's a classic game. Everybody used to enjoy it when it was on the SNES. He's not. He's not. He's pretty yay big. I'm. Pro I'm gonna compare him to the Mario Party Mario, but. He seems kind of short. I thought it, he looked bigger in the box. But there you guys, here we got Dr. Mario. His eyes, I look closer at him through the box. They are just stickers. It's pretty, it sucks, but I, I guess that's what you get when you get an exclusive. So I'm gonna put him down to the side over here. Next up, we got Zero Suit Summits. This is one of the amiibos that pretty much almost everyone wanted. I don't really understand why. She was low in stock and my girlfriend got it for me. She asked me if I wanted it and I just agreed to her. If she, if they didn't have it, then we didn't have to get it. It was fine. 
but we did end up getting it and we did end up getting the second to last one which is pretty cool uh, so yeah, like I said I guess we looked out she has like she looks like she's about to hit the whip really hard so let's get her open look at that completely tear it off and I didn't even get the amoeba out throw this in the trash let's get her on out of here Woo, there we go she got a shiny blue metallic look around her suit of course I didn't expect anything else from Nintendo of course she has the bar the bar less scanner on the bottom I don't understand really why anyone would want this one I guess because she was limited in stock this was the reason she, they wanted it she has like some kind of symbol on the back it's she's really tiny she's like practically the size of my finger so this one yeah I think this one you gotta take real good care of it yeah she's kinda flimsy so she could break easily so you gotta be real careful with this one uh, I would recommend not if you get it for your kids for, to keep an eye on them because these are collectible items and these um I guess this is one of the rare ones not sure not too sure really but here we go we got zero suit summons put her on the side next to Dr. Mario at least she's taller than him right she got long ass legs and we got Olimar from Pikmin I thought this one was pretty cool because it has Pikmin characters around him I always enjoyed the Pikmin game I don't have it for the Wii U uh, sorry about that I, I wish to show you some gameplay eventually and I didn't really get the Mario Maker game either I'm gonna get it later on it's gonna be pretty cool it's gonna be probably a new series on my channel probably gonna be trying out other people's um, mainly gonna probably be trying out other people's um, creations and giving them credit for try once I try it out I seen a couple that Facebook did with um, Nintendo and that they were they were insane you guys they were crazy it, they looked so difficult Woo, we got Olimar out of the box and into the blue let's take them off the plastic slide them on off there look at this you guys this is pretty fucking amazing see the the blue one has like some kind of closed flower the red one has a leaf and the yellow one has an open flower Olimar looks pretty awesome I'm loving the little head the little head helmet super clear plastic you can see his mouth they got really good detail on this one I think this is one of my favorites and they got a little the little orb here looks pretty pretty crazy pretty insane it's clear it's like a marble I gotta say this this movie was pretty cool put him down and my favorite one of all the 8-bit Mario I know he looks like the game that's what they try to do but when you look at him sideways he looks pretty ridiculous <laughs> but if you look at him straight on it's fucking awesome it's crazy and this this amiibo is actually pretty big I will compare it to the other ones to see how big it is so let's get to unboxing this bad boy this is the 30th anniversary amiibo this is the reason that why they did this wave mainly for this 8-bit Mario I heard I heard from a lot of people on Facebook that 8-bit Mario is a little hard to get um, I don't think I would worry too much I think they actually might restock this amiibo because the reason why it is it was for the the Mario Maker game and this is the only the only amiibo compatible to the Mario Maker game and I don't see any reason why they wouldn't make any more because it is for that game specifically Oh, this one's pretty heavy. It's a little heavier than the other amiibos. Look at this guy. Uh, I don't know why it's not focusing. I'm trying to make it focus here. Uh, look down real quick as you can say it says Super Mario Bros 30th anniversary and this is crazy you guys look at this big amiibo look at this big thing 
This thing is humongous. Like, let's compare it to Dr. Mario. Look at this, you guys. This is crazy. The size and the portion of this amiibo and the time it must have taken to make them and put them together. Apparently, these amiibos are handmade. I, I'm not sure if I believe that, but uh, apparently, they have individuals carving, painting, and designing these amiibos. And I think it's pretty crazy for them. But this is Wave 5B of my amiibos. Let's open this case. Let's just put them in there. Whoa. Let's drop the case here. I heard GameStop had plenty of the Summus, Dr. Mario and stuff, and Ganondorf, which is some of the Amiibos that people were mainly looking forward to. We got our new display case here. Let's open this thing up. I think I might just organize my Amiibos. Next month is supposed to be Mewtwo, um, the Wooly Yoshis, which I plan to get. I only plan to get two of the Wooly Yoshis and the Mewtwo. I plan to get the pink and the blue one. I'm getting the blue one for myself and the pink one for my girlfriend and Mewtwo of course is for me because I collect all the Pokemon ones. I have them all, I literally have them all. Let's see, let's make them fit on here. Look at that bad boy in the back. Actually, let's, let's, let's just bring down my other set of Amiibos right now. So you can see I have my channel in the background and you can see it actually looks like an 8-bit Mario from this distance. And here we got the rest of the collection. I know it looks pretty epic. Okay, I couldn't agree more with myself. I'm trying to open it here. Whew, smells like rubber. I almost passed out. And here we are, we got the rest of the collection. We got Charizard, Lucario, Jigglypuff. I did show it on my um, game room setup video. Greninja, Pikachu, which was my first, very first amiibo. We got Toad. The Splatoon. I got the Splatoon 3 pack, that's how I ended up getting all of them. I think we should organize these. Let's keep the Pokemon in one. This is my whole set of amiibos. I still need Mewtwo, you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing how he looks. Well, we already know how he looks. We just don't know when and when he's going to come out. There's so people saying that they're gonna, he's going to come out in November, and I believe them because usually sources are always right. First off, let me start by saying this. I'm going to put this chick in the back. She's doing the whip. And there you go, you guys. Here's my set of amiibos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. You know, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, drop that like, and leave a comment below what else you guys want to see. I do have Smash Bros. And I plan to set up my Wii U eventually on my new setup. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Till next time, guys. Peace.